poor man's Jessica Trobot, and this is Nerdist News. Intro graphics. <music> Jessica Chobot has taken the black at the wall for unspeakable crimes, but I think she'll be back tomorrow. You probably thought the studio was in Los Angeles. Nope, we are wall adjacent. Prices are going through the roof. But enough about Star Walls, let's talk about Star Wars! Because a super exciting rumor broke today for diehard fans that's gonna have you screaming, Misa so excited about this rumor! It's still an uncomfortable accent. See, when the New Republic of Lucasfilm announced that the Star Wars Expanded Universe would be stricken from canon and relabeled Legends, fans mourned for the stories and characters they'd lived with for decades. But According to the pretty damn reliable Making Star Wars, one of the most popular EU characters is set to make a comeback. What? That's right, Grand Admiral Thrawn. <laughs> yep. Now, for those of you who know nothing of Thrawn, he was a blue-skinned, red-eyed alien who rose through the ranks of the Galactic Empire despite the fact that he wasn't human and they were totally racist. Why? Because he was a master strategist, the likes of which even impressed Emperor Palpatine. They were like, let's put this race thing aside, I like your mojo. <laughs> Thrawn was the first major villain introduced to the timeline after Return of the Jedi, appearing in a trilogy of novels by Timothy Zahn, set about five years after that film. I don't know what constitutes a year in the Star Wars universe, their planets go different speeds. Anyway, it came super close to rebuilding the Empire, Thrawn did, of course. He was no joke! And he wound up being one of the most beloved characters to come out of the EU. We're all pretty bummed when we learned he'd be saying bye-bye when the Lucasfilm got bought. But, what if he wasn't? Making Star Wars has heard that Old Red Eyes will be making an appearance in Season 3 of Star Wars Rebels as what? A tactical genius of warfare who menaces the crew of Starship Ghost. Guys, that actually kind of works out with Thrawn's original canon storyline. Ha! Huh. As he would have met Palpatine and joined the Empire by this point, but not totally yet become a Grand Admiral. So not only is Thrawn potentially on his way back to canon, he may be an intact version of his page-bound self. Check it out, no one can think of anything on their own anymore. They're borrowing everywhere. But what would Thrawn's appearance in Rebels mean for the future of Star Wars? Well, if he can come back to canon, doesn't that mean that every EU character is fair game? Let's say, for instance, Luke Skywalker's lady love, Mara Jade, who'd also debuted in the Thrawn books and was the subject for our vast Ray's parents conspiracy theory. But what do you guys think? Would you be pumped to see expanded universe characters brought back into the canon? Even if they change a little bit, which ones would you like to see come back? Me, personally? I like this guy George Lucas. He lives up in... never mind. If you haven't gotten your vote in for the 2016 Nerdist Movies Award, guess what? There's still time to head over to Nerdist.com and cast your vote for Best Picture and my favorite award, what are you looking forward to most with most anticipated film of 2016? Oh, I need to see it. <laughs> what an award. And we'll announce the winners at the end of the month, Kyle. Thank you for being here. Okay. I hate to ask you the question everyone mm. wants to know <laughs> because you love science so much. What was your favorite movie? I'm in the best person for this uh, CTA. I think the movie that got me the most excited out of every movie that I saw, uh -huh. which was three movies, was Ooh. probably Mad Max Fury Road. It, it just punched me in the face. Great choice. With, with visuals and sound and uh, and and Bane. It was Bane great. was in it, Bane yes. Bane was in it. Uh, lots of uh, fuel. That was a big driving give force. Give me fuel, give me fire. Give me that uh, which I desire. Yeah, which huh. is Tom Hardy, obviously. And Charlize Theron, who was amazing. Yeah, I mean, she could be totally American in that world. and She had shorter hair than both of us. And I don't have a man bun. Especially. This one does. Hey! Now, uh, what have you got for us coming up on uh, Because Science? Uh, today we were talking about why Nuka-Cola Quantum in Fallout glows blue. And it's all about nuclear radiation and what it can do when it flies through the atmosphere and maybe your body. The only word I understood in that was blue. <laughs> Check it all out over at Nerdist.com.